Hello viewer, welcome to my YouTube channel Software Testing. Today I'll show you how to install Playwright with Java in Eclipse. As part of today's tutorial, I set it up topics this way. So Playwright with Java installation, it has two prerequisites. JDK must be installed on your system, then also Eclipse to be installed on your system. After that, We'll follow the Playwright official website. Thereafter, we'll follow that instruction. Then we'll create a Maven project in Eclipse. Thereafter, we'll update the pom.xml file according to Playwright website. Then copy Java code from Playwright. Then we'll run our test. That is all about for today's tutorial. First, we need to open Eclipse. Uh, you can use any other IDE too. So once your Eclipse is open, then go to File, then New. You need to create a Maven project. Click Maven project. Thereafter, check the first option, create a simple project. Um, skip archetype selection. Then default is the use default workspace location. Then click Next. Once you click Next, it is asking group ID and all other information. Group ID will do the Playwright automation. Then we'll do the same thing in the artifact ID section too. Thereafter, version is 0 0.0.1 snapshot and packaging is jar. Rest of them, we don't need that. Then click finish. Once you click finish, here you see Playwright automation project is created. And uh, if there is any update, it is taking time. You will see bottom right corner, you will see there is a progress. So once it is created, open that pom.xml file first. This file pom.xml needs to be updated as per Playwright website. In order to do that, open any browser, then go to google.com, then type in the source box playwright then hit enter you will get the first website which is playwright.dev it is developed by microsoft click there once you are in here you see there is a drop down java node.js python.net as we are installing java click java select the java then click get started you will get the installation guideline over here you can read all the way down whatever it is asking so it is app.java is a sample script but we need pom.xml file so you need to copy whole pom.xml file code so right click just a right side top corner click copy also you can select all of those and right click copy our code is copied then you need to go to the eclipse delete whatever it has now paste it whatever you copied only th two thing you need to update one is the group id group id is playwright automation playwright automation then also you need to update artifact id too and all other as it is so now you need to save it then it will update accordingly you see bottom right corner you see all are completed so now pom.xml file is file is updated as per playwright official website thereafter you need to create a class you see source test java package select that one right click new first you need to create a package click package over here let's say uh, any name related to your test i am putting the name as a com dot link then click finish our package is created once package is created right click there new you need to create a class so class name playwright example you can put any name thereafter we need to check main method so in order to run java 
class you need to take the main method that's why we are taking it then click finish our class is created over here so once class is created go to the playwright official website and here is a app java click there it is the sample code copy from here and go to the eclipse again only after the package delete everything paste it over here so here is the package name we don't need we need to delete this one and also we need to update the class name our class name is the playwright example playwright example then we don't need to modify any other thing so now save it if you see any error then you need to fix that error though we are not seeing any error we can run this test so right click run as java application so it is running you see the red icon it is running that means so let's see how it goes first time run it will take some times later on it will go way faster so once it is run completed it will print the console message play right it is capturing the title that means this run is a headless browser mode so we need to enable the headed mode so that we can see the browser it is navigating and working as expected so clear the console go to the playwright website again you see there is a code over here this is the you see set headless false we need to copy this line up to this copy that thing if you paste it in eclipse over here within the launch option paste it over here then now save it this time browser will open because we set it up over here set headless false if it is true then you cannot even see the browser so by default it is true so now right click run as java application you see let's see how it goes as i mentioned first time run it takes some time later on it will be faster so you see browser open it's so fast browser open and close and also you see fast and reliable end-to-end -end testing for modern web apps playwright this is the title it is printed so let me do one thing red dot slip let's say we'll do 5000 millisecond because we need to see the um, website as browser open it's a red mark mouse over at throws declaration red mark will be gone thereafter we can put another message syso control space bar let's say playwright works as expected so after capturing the page title also it will wait sometimes thereafter it will print this message to in console let me clear that one save it and also right click run as java application let's see how it goes it is running You see browser open it is navigated to playwright.dev the last time it closed quickly now it is waiting five seconds thereafter it is closed and both console messages is printed that means it works this is the setup of playwright with java i believe those who are new in automation testing as well as automation using playwright and this setup will be very helpful for themselves if you think this is helpful please like my video subscribe my channel and share it to others also if you have any question please make a comment i'll get back to you as soon as possible thank you for watching this video